Do you always need some rest time after the shows, which I think I never did really enough. I think that's why I burnt out in 2000. I had to take a year off and sit out the Olympia in 2002. Now I'm resting a bit. And I got uh, about 10 days before I start my bringing my body weight back up. Right now about 280, so I'm the lowest off season I use than normal. Usually stay about 295. Of course, it's still only a month, five weeks after the show. So I'd allow myself to uh, rebound a little bit back up, but I'm just trying to eat my weight back up right now and then start packing on the weight. Try to get up to about 310, 315 before I pull it down 12 weeks before the Olympia, which is around August. So I get a whole game plan, I, and hopefully, uh, you know, I want to release this video, show different times of year training. Last one I did right before the contest. I'd like to do another one before the Mr. Olympia show, and then possibly one, uh, of course, afterwards. And then ultimately, I'd like to get my full full-blown 315 pounds off season where I'm pushing the heaviest weights but you know quite honestly I backed off the weights the last few years because I want to just maintain a healthy body which you know avoid injury it seems like a lot of guys when they get to the top they uh they start training heavier and heavier because of course you get stronger and stronger as your weight climbs and uh they get injured so Trying to be a smart bodybuilder at the same time be the best, which you know people uh, confuse the two a little bit. They think that the best guy should be the strongest guy, and uh, that's not necessarily the truth. So here's my chest day. A little fatigued from the weekend, you know. It is Sunday night, and I just flew back from the guest spot this weekend. So come back in tomorrow morning and. 